Good evening, world. This is Ivan Omer. It is 7.03 p.m. in the evening. I just woke up, and this is going to be another very interesting video of Ivan's commenting Hollywood news show. Um, so I'm going to talk about Avatar here. Avatar, now, according to, to this website, Joe Blow, please keep in mind, um, this is not Hollywood Reporter, Variety, or Deadline. This is an, 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 another site, obviously. So you're going to have to take some of what, what I read with the grain of salt. But chances are this is accurate. It's accurate stuff about the box office. Avatar now crossed $1.17 billion already. According, This is a three-hour three article that was published three hours ago. Avatar has already, already hit $1.1 billion worldwide in the box office. I told you I made a prediction towards the what? Towards the week coming into New Year, the week of New Year's, Avatar will cross the one with our one with our main tennis halls right again, obviously. The question is, will it have enough legs to hit $2 billion? I don't know. I think it'll hit maybe 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, perhaps even 1.9. But will it hit $2 billion? I don't know. We'll see if it has enough legs. I don't think it will hit $2 billion, but if it does hit $2 billion, I will not be surprised. So I'm letting you guys know in advance. I don't think Avatar will hit $2 billion. But if it does hit $2 billion, I will not be shocked. Because because it's, you can't bet against James Cameron, some say. James Cameron has proven over and over again why the naysayers are wrong. Two of his movies are, are, are among the top three the top three highest grossing movies of all time. Titanic, Avatar. Some say, you don't bet against James Cameron, man. So this comes from Joe Blow. Avatar, The Way of the Water, continues to conquer the box office with $1.17 billion worldwide so far. Today is the thirtieth. This is the day before New Year's Eve. So just be, so the in, in, Avatar now hit the billion dollar mark in the week come in, 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 in the week in the week in, in the New Year's week, obviously, like I predicted, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Do you think? Yeah, I think Avatar will most likely be. The highest grossing movie of 2022, um, to be honest. Black Panther did about $800 million. I predicted Black Panther would do $752 billion. I predicted it would not be as good as the first one because Chadwick Bowles was no longer, is no longer in the movie, obviously. And what? And it still did $800 million. I was right, obviously, about Black Panther. A Avatar, I think it will top, it will, I think it will top Top Gun's performance. Either tie it or top Top Gun's performance. <laughs> Avatar, uh, I think Avatar two will will top one point five billion. I think it'll do maybe one point six, one point seven, one point eight billion, perhaps one point five billion. It might be around the same same number as Top Gun or a bit but do a bit more. But I'm gonna make a simulation. If it does do more, if it does do what? If it does do two billion dollars, I will not be shocked. So many guys didn't know if it does hit two billion dollars, I will not be surprised because it's Avatar two and it's it's, it's it's fucking James Cameron. I'm saying. So this comes from Joe Blow. Again, this is not the Hollywood Reporter, but this is obviously a pretty trusted source. It's I I I clicked on Hollywood News. I clicked on the main section, and this 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 article popped up. I don't see any Variety or Hollywood Reporter article covering the box office of Avatar recently. These are the only sites that are covering it. That's why you got to bear with me, obviously. This comes from Joe Blow, obviously, right? This article was published three hours ago, written by Steve Say. Right? So I'll read this, obviously. So James Cameron's avatar... The way the water is still is still making waves at the box office after shooting the curls to $1.17 billion worldwide. So it's already did $1.17 billion worldwide. That's crazy, man. And in what? In, in what? In like 14 days, 14, 15 days, it already hit $1.17 million. Yeah. With so many dollars to its name, Avatar The Way the Water is the third highest grossing film of all of a pandemic era. Trying behind Spider-Man No Way Home, one point nine billion, and Top Gun Maverick, one point five billion dollars. Yeah, 
obviously. So Spider Man No Way Home did 1.9 billion. It came out last Christmas, obviously. And Talk with Maverick came out mid mid this year and it did 1.5 billion dollars. But I think uh, um, Avatar will what? Will end up topping Top Gun Maverick, or maybe they might do the same amount of money. I don't know if it'll top No Way Home. I think it it might perhaps do one point nine million dollars. We'll see what happens. But I'm, I will not be shocked if Avatar hits two million dollars. Man, this movie might have enough legs to, 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 hit, to, hit, to hit that two million dollar range. Obviously, Cameron's splashy sequel experienced another monster weekend at the box office with twenty million domestic dollars. After doing some math, that brings the film's state side total to three fifty eight million. Additionally, the film brought in another forty-seven point nine million domestic earnings, cracking the national count of eight hundred ten million dollars. Holy shit! Yeah. So Avatar did eight hundred ten internationally so far, <laughs> and I believe three fifty-eight million. I think uh, domestically or something like that. No, I might be. I might have read this wrong here. Still, Avatar The Way of the Water needs to earn more money if it's going to make its production budget back. And then some, yeah, a Avatar needs to do at least uh, $1.2 billion just to break even. Um, I know John Campion said $900 million, $800 million. No, man, it's more than that. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Avatar was made for three fifty to $400 million. And they spent $200 million in marketing. That's $600 million to spend. Five fifty to six hundred million dollars spending it has to do like one point one five, one point two billion to break even. Yeah, more than even nine hundred million to break. Right now, Avatar is still uh, is, is still is is still on 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 the negative right now. They still have to make another like uh, a couple hundred million dollars to break even. The way the water still needs to earn more money, it's going to make its production production budget back. Yeah, and then some. Analysis say the movie needs to breach around one point four to break even. I think it's more one point two billion. See what I'm saying here? See, I was right before. John Campus said it need nine hundred million dollars to break even. No, it has to do more than that to break even. If it's made for five fifty six hundred million dollars with marketing costs, they ought to make like one point one one point two billion to break even. This says according to the analysis, it has to make one point four billion to break even. I think it has to do about one point two billion to break even, but it's around that range. I'm saying. Huh? See, I'm always right. I'm saying. Thankfully, if Avatar two keeps raking in dollars like so many leaf piles prior for jumping, it'll do just fine. I don't plan to see the film, but I'm confident James Cameron will achieve his goal of getting out of the way the water beyond the going. I think he will. I think Avatar will be a proper movie. Um, I don't think it has to do 1.4 billion to break even. No, I think about 1.2 billion to break even. If it was made for 600 million dollars with marketing costs, it has to do 1.2 billion to break even. Because Disney has to pay back the 600 million dollar loan. That's how it works. They take a loan from the bank for marketing and find the movie project, obviously. They have to, so they take the six hundred million dollar loan. They have to pay back the loan. That's still negative zero. That's zero, obviously. It's negative, obviously. And you have to what? And then you have to recoup the six hundred million that you spent just to break even. So once you recoup the six hundred million that you spent, after you pay off your loan, you're now you're now you broke even, and you're you're, you're, and, you're and then for you to get to the positive, you have to now exceed that 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 one point two billion dollars. So, 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 Avatar needs to do about 1.3. Here it says 1.4. I think it's 1.2 billion around there to break even. Um, the, the, the analysis is probably doing an estimation here. But I think Avatar has to do maybe a good 1.3 billion, 1.4, 1.5 billion to, to, to be profitable. So, to, to, to make profit, obviously. Since there. That's how it works. You pay back the loan first. And then you have to recoup what you spent. So let's say if, uh, yeah. So so Disney takes a $600 million loan, and then they have to pay back the loan, obviously. But don't forget, you have interest too, right? You have to pay back the loan. So once you pay back the loan, you didn't make any money because because you the, the, the money went towards paying the bank off, obviously. You're still on the negative. And you have to make another $600 million just, just, just to break even of what you spent, obviously. So you guys see what I'm saying? Or, yeah, I should just say, that makes sense, Ivan. Yeah. And you have to exceed the amount of money that you spent to uh, to, 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 to get to the positive. So the moment they... So that's $1.2 billion. So the moment you make more than $1.2 billion, you're now profitable. That's now profit. You, 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 paid, you paid all your bills. You paid your bank back. 
and you and 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 and, and, and you and you pay the and you, you and you pay back the amount of money that you spent for the movie. So all the costs going towards overhead, all that stuff, paying everyone that uh, it's all covered now. And now anything after that is now profit. That's how it works. This is a little classroom, an Ivan O'Mara classroom on what? The box office in Hollywood, obviously. And don't forget, the theaters take a percentage of the profits too, I believe. Before I said that the theaters take 100% of the profits, I guess I was wrong there. According to John Camper, the theaters take 33% of the profits. I don't know if they do. I, I thought Hollywood takes the whole pie to themselves. I don't know. But, but, but I don't know. But uh, if, if, if the theaters do take a percentage of profits, that, that, you have to t take that into consideration too, right? You also have the fees to put the movies in the theaters, to distribute your film to all these theaters. That costs us money, too. That costs us millions. Millions of dollars. Yeah, man. That's why I do, I'm doing the math. Yeah, Avatar, 900 million is not the break-even point for Avatar. No, it's in, the, it's in the billions, man. It's in the 1.2 billion range. Like this, like this, According to this article here, the, the analysis says 1.4 billion. I think it's a bit less. Maybe 1.2 billion. It's not 900 million. No, it's in that 1 point something billion dollars. Because, because the, according to Hollywood Reporter, it costs Disney three hundred fifty to four hundred million just to fund the movie, and another two hundred million in marketing costs. See what I'm saying? So you do the math. It, you got it. Avatar has to do like a billion two just to break even, which it will. Avatar will do more than one point two billion dollars. It's already it's already almost near that range. It's at one point one seven billion dollars. In the next week, it'll be it'll be it'll, it'll be in that one point two plus billion dollar range. So Avatar will, 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 will be a proper movie, obviously. The question is, how profitable will it be, some Sarah? Right. Set more than a decade after the events of the first film, Avatar The Way of the Water tells the story of the Sully family, Jake, Nateria, and their kids, the troubles that follows them. The lands they go. Keep each other safe. The battles they fight to stay alive and tragedies they endure. Obviously. James Cameron directed and co-wrote the screenplay with Rick Jaffa and Amanda Silver. So James Cameron co-wrote the Avatar script. Obviously. So James Cameron is obviously a director who likes to who who likes to be involved in his who likes to be really involved in his movies. Obviously, writing the script, he wrote Avatar two. I I think he wrote Avatar one too. I believe he wrote Avatar one. Um, whereas I'm different. I'm I I, I want to co-write Zayn's, but after Zayn's, I don't want to write my movies. I'm just gonna just executive produce. Executive producing is slack work. You just sign the people and you you make some of the business calls. Slack work and you, and you hire a good Hollywood writing team to write your scripts, obviously. Hire a good team to write your Great Escape script. Have your script to always help them out. Or your Matrix 4 script. Chances are I will be doing the Great Escape over the Matrix, to be honest. Because I don't think I don't think David Zaza is gonna accept my deal by deleting resurrections. I don't think he I don't, I don't think he's gonna accept Ivan. Mean, we're not gonna do that, man. We're not gonna delete fucking resurrections. Okay, fine, I understand. I'll just make the Great Escape with Keanu Reeves. It's not a big deal, it's some error. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, some Sarah. Yeah, so James Cameron directed and co-wrote the screenplay with Rick Jaffa and Amanda Silver. The first several planned sequel stars, Sam Worthington, Zoe Zaldana, Sigourney Weaver, Stephen Lang, Kate Winslet, the girl from Titanic, right? CCH Pounder, Eddie Falco, Jermaine Clement, Brendan Cowell, Joel David Moore, and more. Have you seen the Out of the Way of Water, Water yet? What did you think about the film? Will Cameron's film break even and continue to swim past the competition? I think Cameron's film will 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 will, 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 be, will be a profitable film, obviously. It's already it's only it's only been it's already been fifteen days and it's already done like one point one seven million dollars. It's close to that one point two million dollar range. Once it hits the one point two million dollar range, the movie now 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 made its money back. It paid back the loan. They, the Disney paid back the loan, and they, and they all their costs are all, all covered. For the, that was involved in the movie project, and anything after that is now profit. Profit, some Sarah. I don't think 
have a total break even. I think it'll be a, a profitable. I don't think. I don't think the question is how profitable will it be. If it does one point five billion dollars, I mean it was, it was a little bit profitable. It made a couple hundred million dollars in profit. If it does one point eight, one point nine. It was very profitable. It did, it did hundreds of millions in profit. And if it does two plus billion dollars, which it might perhaps, I will not be surprised. That means it was a, it was a hit, obviously. Avatar was a hit, obviously. So will James will Cameron's film break even and continue to swim past the competition, given the film's success? Do you think Cameron will keep making Avatar films beyond the third film in the franchise? I don't know. Um, it just depends how long he takes to, to to what to release his movies between movies, obviously. Cameron cannot afford to wait another thirteen years for for Avatar to for Avatar four or five. He's not getting any younger. He's old now. I'm like, Cameron, you're not young like you used to be. Like when you did Avatar One, you were young. You were young, dude. You're only in your early fifties. So so you, you, you could af- you could afford to wait 13 years for the next Avatar. You can no longer afford to do that anymore. You're not getting any younger. You're pushing 70. Don't hate me, you know what I'm saying? You're 66 years old. You can't afford to wait another eight, nine years for Avatar three and four and five. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting last thing you want to do is, is be directing Zoom when you're 85 and you're done. You can't do shit anymore, you know what I'm saying? Chances are he'll release uh, the, the Avatar movies every every like three, th- two and a half, three years he'll release the movies. If he does that, he'll be able to release all five movies. Because by the time he releases all five movies, he'll be like maybe in his late 70s. If he waits a good three years in between movies to release them, that, that uh, James Cameron will be maybe like 77 or something like that when he's done. He'll be fine. But if he waits like a long time, like six, five years, he'll be in his 80s, but like almost 90 by the time he's he's done the fifth movie. Hence why what? Yeah. But I think Cameron might perhaps, I don't know, he might direct maybe Avatar 3, and he might just take a break and just produce 4 and 5 or something like that. Hey guys, I'm tired. I'm not going to write this. I'm not going to direct this. I'm just going to produce this. I'm going to hire someone to, 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 to he, might, he might perhaps do that. Because directing and, 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 and is a lot of work. It's a lot of fucking work, man. Directing a movie is a lot of work, since Aaron. <laughs> Do you think Cameron will keep making Avatar films behind the third film in the franchise series? I don't know. I think after Avatar 3, James Cameron might maybe step back and just produce the movies like he did for Terminator uh, Dark Fate. I think James Cameron might just step step back and just produce the movies after Avatar 3. Because he's, he's probably very t- exhausted, man, working on this thing for 13 years. And he also has to do Avatar 3. Okay, guys, after Avatar 3, I'm going to just produce this. I'll hire my own writer, my own writing team, and I'll hire a good director to direct the, the, the other two movies. We'll just produce it, perhaps. We'll see what happens. Keep in mind that Avatar 3 is already in post-production. Yes, Avatar 3, I heard, is already, they already started filming the third movie, which is good, obviously. Let us know what you think about Avatar performance in the future in the comments. And that covers this article. Yeah. So what are my thoughts on this? I think it's a, it's a big, big success for Avatar. Obviously, before before the before the New Year's, obviously, it already hit w- w- over one billion dollars in the box office. The question is now: Will it have enough legs to make two billion dollars? <laughs> That's the real question. Will Avatar have enough legs to make two billion dollars? I don't think it will, but I will not be shocked if it does make two billion dollars. Because it's, it's Avatar. Avatar is a very, very big IP franchise. The originals made... And please keep in mind, this Avatar is, is doing better than even the originals did. The originals only did 77 million opening weekend. This one did one... What? How much did it do again? This one, this one did 100 plus million. Almost $140 million opening weekend domestically. Double what the original did. And it already hit a billion dollars before the before the New Year's, so I, I will this will this movie have enough legs to hit? But I don't think it'll hit three billion. That's I don't think it will. I think I think I think the originals is a rare is a rare exception. I don't think this movie will hit three billion dollars. No, but it might perhaps hit two billion. Perhaps it might have enough legs and to hit two billion dollars. I don't think it will. But if it does, I will not be shocked. So if I get that news, it did two billion dollars. I will I'll be, I'll be like, yeah, I, I totally understand. I am not shocked. So even though I don't think Avatar will hit $2 billion, I will not be shocked if it does hit $2 billion. Because it's, because it's, 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 Avatar is a kind of movie that can have a lot of legs. A lot of, a lot of fans can w- watch it over and over again. Repeat viewings. Word of mouth spread. Did you see that movie? That movie is so gorgeous and beautiful. Yeah. Since Aaron.
do not bet against James Cameron, Sincero. Do not bet against the man James Cameron. Here is another article here. It's about the same thing, pretty much. But it's from a day ago. Um, there's one by Yahoo Finance and one by BBC. Um, let me... I'll read the one from Yahoo Finance. This is one by Yahoo Finance. Again, this is not Deadline or Hall Report, but these are these these informations are are accurate. Yeah, the title is Avatar: The Way of the Water Cross One Billion. Halfway to the mark, James Cameron said they need to break even. They will have to overcome two hurdles to do it. Okay, first of all, Avatar does not have to do two billion dollars to break even. That's that's this article is just doing this just just for clicks, obviously. Even in even in the last article, it says analysis said Avatar has to do about one point four billion. Right yeah, they didn't say th th James Cameron saying two billion dollars. His numbers were off, obviously, or he or he was he was speaking about like the whole thing as a series. I don't think he meant the, the, his, his one Avatar movie doing two billion dollars. The math doesn't add up. If it was made for six million dollars, doesn't need to do two billion to break even. For his for his movie to do two billion dollars, his movie had to be had to be made for like what. Like a billion nine hundred million dollars, a, a billion dollars plus. To, 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 an avatar was not made for a billion dollars. It needs to do about one point two billion to break even. So John Campy, I'm sorry, you're wrong. It doesn't have to do seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred to break even. No, it has to do like one point two billion to break even according to the numbers. So John Campy is a bit off in his numbers, obviously, when he said it had to do nine hundred million to break even. Don't hate me, John Campy. I'm saying the avatar, the way to work. An avatar, the way the water crossed one billion halfway to the mark, James Cameron said I need to break even. Yeah, it only has to do like a billion two to break even around there. Look, man, even in that article, it says a, a, an analysis said it has to do a billion plus to break even. Yeah, I was right. The 900 engine dollars is not accurate. It has to do more than that to break even, obviously. But not two billion. It has to do about 1.2 billion to break even, obviously. This is by Travis Clark, and it was published yesterday, December 29, 2022, 11, 12 a.m. It's by Yahoo Finance. I'll read this article here. All right, let's read this. You guys better enjoy this Hollywood news video while you still can, man. Because once I'm king, I'm peace on with you. You're not going to be saved. I keep saying that, man. You made me pay. You're also going to pay too. It's fair. Right? Avatar The Way of the Water has grossed over $1 billion at the box office, yes. But it may need to double that to reach a, the, the mark James Cameron has said needs to break even. No, it does not. Avatar does not have to make $2 billion to break even. The, the numbers do not add up, man. In order for Avatar to, hit, to make $2 million, that means Avatar was made for like $900, a billion, $800 million. Like a billion dollars, a billion dollars in, in, in cost. It was not made for a billion dollars. It was, according to Hollywood Report, it was made for three fifty to $400 million. And they spent $200 million in marketing. Uh, the numbers do do not add up to two billion dollars in, in profit to, to break even. No, James Cameron either misspoke or he was talking about the whole thing as a series or something. I like like Robert Burnett said on John's show since The numbers don't add up. It doesn't have to do two billion dollars. Is crazy, man. One point two, one point three. That's more accurate because six hundred million dollars. You got to make about one point two, one point one point two million dollars to break even, but not two billion dollars. It's not the, 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 this guy is just doing this for clicks, obviously. To create stir and get more clicks, obviously, right? As to, some people do that. They, 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 they write stuff to get clicks, obviously, right? But I mean, need to double that to reach that. The Mark James Cameron has said it needs to break even. Ticket sales in China and movies overall legs in coming weeks would, could determine that, yes. What the, the question is, will it have enough legs? Will Avatar have enough legs to hit the two billion dollar range? That's the real question. Will it have enough legs to hit the two billion dollar range? I don't know. I don't know, guys, Sarah. I don't know. Will it have enough legs to hit the tubing R range? I don't know. That's the real question, Sarah. <coughs> I don't know.
Avatar The Way to Water hit an important box office. Milestone this week. Crossing $1 billion at the global box office in two weeks. Yes. In two weeks, Avatar hit the $1 billion range. It made a lot of money, I mean. Yeah. I think it's even doing better than the originals. I don't think the originals hit... No, the originals hit about a billion in two weeks, too, I, I think. I don't know. I I, I wasn't covering... I didn't, I, I didn't really understand box office back then when I was 17 years old, Tim Sanger. I knew what box office was, but I never really understood the, what the box office was. Until I started watching Collier and all stuff, I started to understand more what the box office was. And I learned a lot from watching all those shows, obviously. But the sequel to the highest grossing movie will need to become two two hurdles to double that number. A market the record James Cameron says it would need to hit to be successful. Um, um I, This is my theory. I think James Cameron saying he needs to do $2 billion is a marketing tool. Okay, let's if, if I can get if I can get my movie to two million dollars, it'll be super super profitable. It might be what false advertising. My, that that's probably my either that or he's talking about the whole thing with the whole thing. Answers. It might be a, it might be a, a, a false advertising thing, whatever it is. Um 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 um, um false advertising. You know, what I'm you know, like you know when you watch like those those trailers on on you know when you watch those trailers. On on you watch those trailers on uh, um I you think that yeah I think James Cameron saying that is perhaps a false a false a false advertising marketing tool that way he gets more people in the theaters to see the movie and his movie does two billion dollars it's super super profitable you know what I'm saying yeah it might be false advertising some some j j just like trailers are kind of false advertising in a way some trailers look very amazing but the movie's terrible some trailers look very crappy and the movie's amazing. It's a marketing tool, obviously. James Cameron might have... And if he did do that, it's obviously a genius move, obviously. Hey, guys. Hopefully, my movie does $2 billion. And, and, and yeah, guys. What I really meant was my movie will, my, my movie didn't need $2 billion. It was, pro, it was It's very, very profitable. I think it might have been a marketing tool, perhaps. I don't know. That's my, that's my theory. Right? Because the numbers don't add up. It doesn't have to do $2 billion to break even. The, the numbers do not add up, man. Yeah. Like you know when you watch those uh those those trailers, you see those you see the McDonald trailers, this the uh the subway trailers, you see the hamburgers, if you see the hamburgers, it looks so neat. You know what I'm saying? And when you go to McDonald's, it's all messy, you know what I'm saying? You go to uh Subway, it's all messy. Yeah. It's 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 a false advertising, obviously. It's a marketing tool. I think that's what James Cameron might have done, obviously, to get his movie to 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 hit the two million range. I don't know. Cameron told GQ last month that the way of the water would have to be the third or fourth highest grossing film in history to, just to break even. Um, um, on Star Wars The Force Awakens, which grows $207 million. I don't think so. I think James Cameron was talking about the whole thing as a series, like Rob Marbonet said. Um, John Campbell said domestically, but Avatar has to do more than even 800 to break even. It has to do like well, a billion plus to break even. According to that business analysis, they even said it has to do more than that. Um... I'm right, you're wrong, John. Don't hate me, you know what I'm saying? And what? And, uh... And I think James Cameron might... This this might be something called false advertising. You might have done this to, to, to get the fans. Hopefully more people can... If I tell, tell them that it has to do two billion to break even, hopefully more fans can see the movie in and it does more money, obviously. <coughs> so James Cameron might have... Might have might have been a bit maybe pro. Uh, he he might have used a bit of false advertising perhaps to, just to get more fans to watch his movie. Tim Just like like just like the analogies of the examples I show I told you about before, obviously the McDonald's uh, commercials, all that stuff. Tim Yeah. Obviously, if the way of the water, yeah, right. Just to break even, number four is Star Wars: The Force Awakens, which grows two point zero seven million dollars. Yeah, Avatar does not need to do two billion to break even. I think that the numbers do not add up. If the way the water achieved that, the first Avatar was a smash hit in China, grossing about two sixty two million. There, including a, a re release last year. Yeah, the first Avatar killed it in the box office. 
But the question is, I don't think this movie will do as much as the first one. But it might perhaps hit two billion dollars with the way it's with the way it's going now, right? It's, 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 it's already, it already hit one point one seven billion dollars, over one billion dollars in like two in two weeks, less than two weeks. Yeah, in two weeks before the New Year's, right? I predicted the week coming the week before New Year's. That's the week when Avatar will hit the one billion dollar range. Obviously, the question is, will in, in two weeks from now will Avatar hit that one point four, one point five billion dollar range? I don't know. Yeah, hopefully it has legs and more people watch it. I was right about Wakanda Forever. I predicted Wakanda Forever will do seven fifty two billion dollars and did eight hundred million so far. I predicted it will not be as good as the first, and I predicted that the one thing about Avatar was wrong about is I said that I think the first one will be better than the second one, but a lot of people are liking the second one even better than the first. But I have to see I have to see the movie for myself, obviously. Obviously, so I was wrong about that. I said I think the first one will be better, but a lot of people said the second one's better, and it's also I, I could be wrong about that. But in terms of the, the box office, um, so far I was right about Avatar. So far, obviously, right. If the way of the water achieved that, it would put it would put it in the league with Cameron's own Titanic, the number three highest grossing movie, and Avatar number one. But one key market could des could decide that the first Avatar was a smash hit in China, grossing about two sixty two million. Two sixty two million there, including a re release. The Way of the Water is off to a slow start in the region, grossing one hundred four million there after two weekends. That's not bad. It may face slumping ticket sales in the coming weeks as the country deals with rising coronavirus cases. Yeah, remember remember when I, um, earlier when I read that article, there's a there's a COVID problem going on in China right now. And so that might perhaps uh, affect the box office in China for, for, for the Avatar Way of the Water ticket sales, obviously. Since there. It's not just China where the movies need to keep up momentum, though. The first Avatar was such a blockbuster because it's a strong, it's, it's of its strong overall legs. Yeah, the first Avatar had very, very strong legs. Hence why I was able to do almost $3 billion. Three billion dollars, something crazy, yeah. But if you think this is big, man, my Zayn's movie will blow like Avatar out of the water, man. For Zayn's looking like a hundred plus billion in sales, <laughs> something crazy, a hundred plus billion in sales. I don't know, 80, 90, 100 billion plus in sales. Because there's just a good chance I might perhaps price it for cheaper. It just depends how how much how how much it costs. If it only costs like twenty bucks to for for the box set and the and the disc and all stuff. I'll, I'll price Zayden's for maybe one twenty nine 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 for a bit less, one thirty dollars instead of one sixty dollars. Sure, my camera.